Before a neuron can conduct an electrical signal, a resting membrane potential must be established with a positive charge outside the cell and a negative charge inside the cell. One way the charges are established is by the presence of large negatively charged proteins within the cell. An active transport protein called sodium potassium ATPase uses ATP to transport sodium out of the cell and potassium into the cell. The pump binds to three sodium ions, then using the energy from a molecule of ATP, the pump changes conformation. The sodium ions are released to the outside of the cell. The new shape of the channel has a high affinity for potassium. The binding of two potassium ions causes the channel to change conformation again. The pump releases the phosphate to the inside of the cell as well as the two potassium ions. The cycle continues when three more sodium ions bind to the channel along with another molecule of ATP. Many potassium leakage channels are located throughout the cell membrane. The sodium-potassium pump establishes an electrochemical gradient and the potassium ions flow from the areas of high concentration inside the cell to areas of low concentration outside the cell. These processes establish the resting membrane potential. A typical cell will have a resting voltage of about negative 70 millivolts across the cell membrane. 